All right, guys, welcome back to this next video. In this video, I would like to show you how I prepare my landscapes. You can see I'm using Midjourney. I'm using AI to improve or just beef up my imagination. What I typed in here a couple of minutes ago is a big landscape with unsettling and high mountains in the background. The near distance should have mud, moss, grass, stones, and it should also have unsettling Norwegian spruce, trees which are quite skinny and feel depressed. The atmosphere should be misty and overcast but still cinematic. So this is what I'm going for in most cases. If you already did some of my courses on Udemy or watched my videos on YouTube on how to create landscapes and um, cinematic environments in general, then you would see that I'm totally into that stuff. So there's nothing better than having depressed misty fog and um, almost dead looking spruce trees and all that stuff. So I like moss, I like puddles, I like mud. Um, yeah, dystopian vibe basically. So I like that. I will just roughly, I'm just trying to recreate this. Not really one by one, but just to get an idea, you have to understand in Gaia, those landscapes, they are really, really big. They are huge and we are creating a 4K, um, a 4K texture for, for the displacement map, so our height map. And we are going to displace this map inside Unreal Engine 5 in our landscape. Just in terms of scalability, this is just a tiny portion, actually. So what I'm trying to tell you here basically is we still have uh, a big chunk here, but still compared to the whole landscape, it's quite small. Okay, so we have to consider that we can move our camera later to different angles, different places. But what we should go for is I want to also have like this lower thing so then we can place some mud. So we're going to use maybe a flow map or maybe we can also use a river map and mask it out from there. Or I should say a river node. It's not really a map then, but we can mask out the information for the river. And we can just uh, abuse that creating mud or water or a mixture of those. And then maybe when it goes more up, we have like slope, we can define the slope angle. Then I want to have a mixture of like dead grass and moss, moss patches and all that stuff. And so it should be quite narrow here. And then we should have in the far distance, we should have those, um, those sharp looking rocks. So I open up a blank project. What I want to do is I get a mountain. I put this mountain to auto level and clamp. I clamp this one back to 50%. Then I try to get a different seed, maybe something like that. I increase the resolution here. Then I get a transform. Hook this one up. Put this guy over here. Then I copy all of those things here and get a different seed. And put this one over here. Then let me get the combine node. Then I hook this one up here. And hook this one up here if I can. For the combined, you need to put this to add and ratio 100%. Otherwise, it's not going to make sense at all. And to be honest, let's put this one, let's put this one here. And then we can also rotate those things. Um, so we should rotate this one maybe like so. And this guy, we should rotate also, but maybe like so. Makes more sense. So now you can see it's looking quite nice. We can put this guy maybe. Um, let me just put this one over here. Maybe this is a little better, a little more. And this guy, just a little more. Okay, perfect. All right, and then I get another combine. And I want to do the verse lens. This is usually what I like. So I put this one on top of those two mountains. But for this, we need to set the combine also to add. And we want to add the ratio to 100%. Now, as for the worst lens, let me decrease the scale to make this more noisy and more detailed. And we can also increase the height. Maybe a little less. Okay, so now we have something chaotic like this. But now here comes the fun part. As uh, Once we go here to erosion, we can now make this looking like we are actually on Earth and not on our Mars. So this is one thing we can do and we can also do more duration and apply changes and cut this one down a little more. So now it's starting to look more like we are actually on planet Earth. So now you can see it's, it's giving us sediments and this natural like this natural vibe 
like everything gets eroded and now you have a landscape you created your own landscape basically the good thing about this is you can always go back to uh, each mountain here on the transform decrease the scale the angle the, the position and um, yeah this is basically what you can do and now you have full control um, on top of that you can also hook up a so-called what i do after that sometimes is the thermal and just get more, a little more sediments if you want that it's, it's just making it softer like all the mountains and all that stuff uh, but yeah this is up to you let's see the reference here um, we are scattering grass and bushes and all that stuff anyway here on the slope mask but you can see those rocks they're quite sharp but still we have strong slope so this is uh, what we should do and you can see those uh, mountains they are quite sharp but still we have nice and rich slope areas and this is what I'm trying to go for so now we should not waste too much time for creating a landscape I mean a landscape is still in the end of the day it's just still a landscape and this is how you do it just a generic interesting landscape here and now what you can do is uh, we can create for example like a river if you want that all right now let's create a river on top of that so scroll down here and just get a river just boom hook it up and you can also down cut more so this means here it's getting elevated but down cutting means he's like completely uh, like the water will not raise according to the hill or according, according to those mountains but I think we should not do that just a, a little bit of down cutting is good but the river is still going up so just a little bit of a down cutting is fine all right perfect so now we have this for uh, Unreal Engine you need to click on your last node and then you mark this for export okay right click mark for export then you have a build button uh, the build in Gaia 2 is a little different I think you have to look here there's something called build and then uh, you can rename this the last node should be called landscape and this is the one you use for your landscape material uh, for the, for the this would be a PNG for Unreal Engine 5 uh, the height map so this is the PNG here and we set this to 4k normal build is fine and then we need a couple of masks so for example we want to use so-called slope so I usually go for a slope and then you can see everything which is white would be affected for our let's say moss and grass layer and all that stuff and everything which is black so the top of our rock would be for example later on a different node a rock material so I might just gonna go back to the slope properties here and I want to decrease the max okay so we have that okay once you are satisfied with your height map okay so this is what I told you previously you have this rivers node in my it, it could be any node it's always the last node once you're done in terms of geometry this is all geometry okay there's no real color information or something it's just height uh, what you do now is you take care of your textures this means you get a slope maybe a rock map maybe ambient occlusion a light map doesn't doesn't really matter so what do you want to have um, this is all under data this is where you put you know, this is where you define later okay on those places i want to have grass i want to have a grass layer so a grass material on this i want to have more like a soil material or like a mud or a stony material uh, like a pebbles or rocky material and then on the and on those higher edges on the rocks on the, on the top of rock i want to have a stone material a, a cliff materials for example now i'm showing you a way how you can use those maps and um, properly align those maps export them as well and then in Unreal Engine I would like to show you how you can also implement those for your material layers so you don't need to paint anything everything will like each material layer you have inside your master landscape material for example grass soil and stone or rock will be masked out depending on the information you have inside your texture so for example in this case what I did is I got myself a slope map and you hook this one up to your last node okay so in this case rivers will be my last node in terms of geometry this is my this uh, we mark this for export right all right so this is our landscape png so this is what you create 
just to create your height information, your landscape itself inside Unreal Engine 5. And then when you go one step further, as for your master material, your landscape material, you want to define. So for the slope, for example, um, this is where you can use grass, the grass and mossy stuff. And this is where you can also later with PCG, you can also only reconsider uh, or only focus on those, uh, on the information we have on our slope layer. And then he will only scatter certain type of assets only on those uh, white values. Okay, so this is also what PCG does, which is pretty good using attributes. Okay, so, but the slope mask itself is not really ideal. It's, it's okay, but it's just giving me too much white values. I want to be more specific. So what I did is I also hooked up a flow map. You can see as for my slope, I have um, a min of zero and a fall of like 15 uh, degrees. So then you can define approximately the shape. So let's do, yeah, for example, let's do like something like this. And as for the flow, I just took up a flow here. And what you can see as for the flow map, as for the regular flow map, I put this to tertiary rainfall 100%, okay. And then I combine those two with a multiply of 100%. This is pretty important. So now the thing is, this is my slope with the flow. So I just get more variations. I can cut out more of those um, like grassy fields um, later on. So this could be maybe later stone or something different, maybe a different layer, just to get more variations for a different material. All right, so that one would be right click, mark for export, go to build. And that one would be my uh, grass layer, for example. Let me just call it slope, to be honest. We can later define what we want to have, what kind of material. So PNG. And uh, then I add another sl uh, not slope, another flow separately, another flow. But this time I invert this and I put this to secondary. And then you can increase also the rainfall just a little bit. The reason why I'm doing that is I can now, according to those rivers, or like everything which is simulating flow, I can use a different material for that. Okay? So maybe it makes sense if I just keep this inverted again. So this means I only have those things around those uh, rivers. I can set up a different material if I want to. Much more interesting. So I get this one, mark for export, right click, mark for export, and I go to build and I call this second floor map, I call this one, I think we can keep it as, as it is flow, right? Yeah, let's, let's keep it like so, flow. And now let's focus on a rock map. So how can we get a rock map? We can get a rock map basically, we can get a rock map basically by getting a slope. Let's copy this slope map hook this one up again and then we go back to the slope properties and you can invert this okay and then what you can do as well is you get a height hook this one up as well and you invert this as well and then you get less fall off and put this one down And you get another combine. Let's get this combine here and just copy because we need a multiply. Okay. So now we have an inverted slope map. It's the same like here, just inverted. Okay. But I don't really want to have rocks here and here, not really. So this is why I just mask out everything on the bottom. So let's put this one down like so. And then you can see we're masking out everything here. There would be no rock. Okay, this is just one example you can do. Yeah, mark for export. And that one would be called my uh, rock. So we have rock, flow and slope. Perfect, and all is PNG, 4K. And now again, just for you to understand, when we click on the rivers node, this is our height map, our displacement. So only our geometry, and this is what I call landscape. Okay, you can also export another one as EXR if you want to have more quality or you maybe want, just want to displace this in Blender for example then you should do an EXR uh, just to have more detail but for 
um, using this as a height map uh, PNG is required so we use this um, to create our landscape inside Unreal Engine 5. And once you have this in Unreal Engine 5 then you can assign your master material landscape and you can define your layers as I told you already. And um, yeah this is basically what you can do. So again our geometry we have then we have here our um, slope so this one I will just assign for all those white values. For all those white values I will only define uh, like a grass layer, a simple grass moss, something like this grass moss layer. And for the um, flow, so you can see everything around those um, rivers, I will have maybe like a soil material, or like a sand material, uh, like a dark sand or something. And um, then for the rocks, we have that material here. And then I go here to the destination and I put this guy to, let's do builds. And then we can start build. And yeah, this is it. 